An environmental impact investigation into the B-52 crash incident back in May is being delayed. With rainy season having arrived on Guam, there is concern that the consistent raining could carry jet fuel from the explosion into the groundwater. According to the Guam EPA, Anderson Air Force Base says there is, quote, a limited environmental response at this time with regards to the jet fuel cleanup. According to GIPA, the last letter the agency received about the cleanup was a two-page status report back in June. In this report, Anderson says they cleaned up 5,300 gallons of fuel from the crash site. Additionally, they laid a plastic sheet around the affected area to prevent further jet fuel from seeping into the ground. But Guam EPA says they need to perform compliant sampling to find out exactly how much jet fuel from the explosion has reached the soil, something they do not currently know because of the delay in the investigation. Guam EPA says there is always a threat of groundwater contamination with a situation like this. Anderson Air Force officials tell PNC in a statement, quote, Initial assessments by Anderson Air Force Base environmental specialists show no significant impact or danger to the local environment, end quote. Anderson Air Force Base officials say it's too early to discuss further details of the crash. AAFB is considered a U.S. EPA Superfund site, and according to U.S. EPA's website, the Superfund program is responsible for cleaning up some of the nation's most contaminated land.